In recent years, there have been growing concerns from locals in Lira district over the sale of public land to individuals. To date, it still remains unclear how several plots of land located in over 10 different locations within the district and the city centre ended up in private hands. This thing did not start yesterday. It started a long time. Government should also tell us clearly whether they, they are also aware or not. Some of the public spaces in question include land that hosts the city abattoir, section of the mayor's garden located in the city center, Uma Show Grounds, commonly known as the Tipa Stage, government land in Ereda Estates, Triangle Square adjacent to the mayor's garden, about 504 square meters of land that hosts Lira Town College School, land on Plot 42 Church Road that currently hosts a pharmacy, and some land on Nyeta Road where a fuel station is being erected and yet it is said to be on a wetland. Some of these were meant to be green belt, like citing an example of an open space, which is commonly known as our mayor's garden. They have plotted, they, they plotted a lot, around 80 plots here to be developed for the, for the owners. Unfortunately, after they have uh, planned this place, the city authority, which was municipal city, municipal council, they started to sell the land. NTV obtained a copy of the petition, which is addressed to the Speaker of Parliament and copied to other line ministries. However, the State Minister for Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Sam Mayanja, says he is yet to receive a copy. This will be a good case to handle, but I will not see it. I wish I could see it. I will actually it. Maybe it came before I entered office. I don't know. Given the current situation, some locals have now appealed to high authorities to look into the matter. The office of the IGG or anti-corruption court, I mean anti-corruption unit in State House should come in to investigate these people. With the growing population and the elevation of Lira into a city, there are fears of shortage of land for expansion and infrastructure development in the near future unless the current land concerns are addressed. So it would be good for us to have public spaces that will help us put in investments that reflect the kind of city that we want at the moment. Some of the district leaders and politicians have been accused of conniving at rich business people within the district to sell off some of the public spaces. However, the city mayor Sam Atul warns that some of the people involved may lose millions of shillings in the process. It would be wrong for you to fraudulently buy land and then eventually go through the process of having this title that you've acquired cancelled. In April of this year, four Lira district officials were interdicted over a regular sale of public land within the district. They were alleged to have been involved in the sale of land on Plot 41 Church Road and others located at the Reda Estates to private developers ignoring the required procedures. According to Lawrence Egole, the Lira Resident City Commissioner, much as the petition holds water, the concerned government ministries were notified of the matter. The alarm was raised to the Ministry of Local Government and the same alarm was raised to the Minister of Lands and the Honorable Minister for Lands wrote herself again to the Chief Administrative Officer restraining the district of Lira from engaging in any land transactions. Last week, the State Minister for Lands, Housing and Urban Development, Sam Mayanja, suspended all land transactions involving public land in all districts around the country. Nelson Omoya, NTV.